Are you looking for something special this Valentine's? Well, let me help you with this animation. It's super easy and it can be used as an e-card for someone you love. And if you stick with me until the end, you'll know how to make it yourself as well. So, if you're ready, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start by right click format background, go to solid fill, and then you want to select the dark blue color. This is gonna be color of the universe. And then go to the home session, select circle. This is gonna be our moon. Um, and you make a circle shape. You can also make it a, with a crescent shape as well. Then go to shape fill and then select yellow. Um, no shape outline, shape effects, soft edges um, around like the third one and then glow for the third one as well. Not only that, we're going to uh, select shape effects and the number fifth is what I'm going for. And now we're gonna make the uh, the rocket, okay? So you're gonna select this more like a dome shape with a flat base here, and you kind of want to tilt it, rotate it to looks like it's upright. And not only that, you're gonna select the trapezoid uh, shape, and this is gonna be the base of the rocket, okay? You can adjust the size and the um, the height width uh, as much as you want. I'm gonna make it big right now, and then I'm going to resize it a little bit afterward, um, making it big so you guys can see it better in this case. And so you just have to put it right there on the base of the rocket. Then you select something, the shape like um, like an hourglass, and then you want to tilt it, rotate it, and make it look like a bow tie. And you want the width to be the width of the rocket. And after that, select the uh, triangle shape. This is going to be the metal. It's more like a fire or the smoke that comes out of the rocket. Okay. And um, so you got this. And then on the, after that, the crescent shape. And this is, I'm just gonna adjust the thickness and the size a little bit. This is gonna be like more like a base of the rocket. And then after that, you just want to make sure that you put it on the side like that. And you click on that, you control D, and then you duplicate it, rotate, flip horizontal. So now you've got two of these. Um, put it on um, each side and make sure that it's kind of like symmetrical. Okay. Now you got this, you select the rocket, you right click, bring to front, bring to front, you select the base, right click, bring to front, and bring to front. So you want to make sure that the rocket and the base are in the front. Now you select the donut shape and you want to put it in the more like middle and toward um, the head of the rocket. Um, I'm just going to reposition uh, this a little bit, okay, so it looks better. Alright, so after you get this, we're going to change the color. And so you guys, this is up to your imagination. You can use whatever color you want. I'm gonna go with like a white and then of course with no shape back background. And then we're well, just gonna add some shape effect and I think I'm gonna go to the preset number two. Um, and for the window and then the base, I think it's gonna be more like a dark gray, no shape outline. For shape effect, it's gonna be like preset number two as well. You can also change it as well. Um, on the side, I'm gonna go for a red and of course with no shape outline. For those shape effects, I'm going to select um, number 5th of their preset because I think that's probably the best one. And uh, okay, so for this smoking thing, um, I think I'm going to go with might be like, you know, orange. I mean, you guys can actually just, you know, use anything else um, preset. Um, for chef I presented them before as well so you guys can change the color and if you know the rockets better than I do then you can probably know what color is supposed to be okay then I'm um, sorry I changed this um, rocket color a little bit and I'm sorry I just want to change this really a little bit darker gray okay so after that of course, making sure there's no shape outline. You cover everything and you control D, or, uh, sorry, you control G on your keyboard, you group things together and now I'm going to resize everything okay so you resize it, you can also make it big or small, but I will suggest you not making your rocket bigger than your moon because that doesn't make any sense. Um, but unless you want it, then it's fine. 
um, it's not a big deal. It's just like an animation, so anything can happen. So you want you to just put your moon in the corner, lower left corner, and um, out of the p uh, the frame. I don't want it to be on top of the slide, so it's gonna be on the side. Okay. Now we're gonna add the text box, and then it's gonna say, of course, I love you to the moon and back. Okay, and you can also say something else if you want. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this, and then you want to make sure that you um you select the right size for this. You select the right font for this. I selected the Christian ITC font because I like this better, and make sure that you align in center. And um, I'm gonna go with spacing 1.5 spacing, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And you can also adjust it as much as you want. And you want to make sure that this word, I mean this sentence is in the middle of your slide. And the, how you do that is, sorry, let me just adjust this a little bit. Okay, so how you do that is you just, but before you do that, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna change the color um, first. And okay, now we got that. All right, so you just want to move it and you kind of have to check on the red line. You see this in the middle. So the red line, the horizontal red line, and then the vertical red line, okay? I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see it better. So if you click on that, you see the red line, that crossing um, the sentence, that means it's in the middle of the slide, okay? That is good for the PowerPoint, okay? Let me just move the moon here a little bit. So, um, and then maybe tilt the, um, the rocket a little bit so it's supposed to kind of fly into the moon, all right? Um, Okay, so now you select the word and then you go to animation, I mean, select the text box and it goes to animation, add animation, and you want to click on um, wave, all right? Okay, so then with previous duration 1.5, and you wanna make sure that timing repeats until next click, and of course, like that, okay, that's it. Um, after that, uh, we're just going to select something more. So we're going to add some stars into the scene. Okay. So it can be just like whatever shape you want. I want to go with this and then I'm changing the shape full and then shape outline and I want to glow for you like, you know, maybe I think I'm going to go with like a third one. Sorry, I'm just going to change that. Okay. So that's going to be a yellow glow. Okay. And uh for add animation it's gonna be pulse okay and with previous of course duration one and you want to make sure that it's set until next click as well and set okay now you want to copy this by control d on your keyboard and oops sorry control d on your keyboard and then you want to kind of just place these stars wherever you want it to them to be um, so one might be there, another one might be another place, and then you can also adjust the size and um, the the shape as well. Um, probably tilt it a little bit, rotate it a little bit, make it big, big or small, um, and kind of spread them out um, throughout the the slide, which is going to be much uh, better than putting them like together. And you want. Um, them to have like a different sizes so make sure that is some are big uh, some are small so you don't want them to be like identical or something okay then after that you go ahead and check your our animation pane um, after you spread out all these stars and you want to make sure that the second one you get delay for 0.25 and then delay for 0.5 another delay profile is 0.75 and then maybe another 0.25 so you, do, you don't want them to blink on the same times because I mean unless you want to so that you don't no need to get uh, to put some delay um, into it okay so now select the rocket add animation go to diagonal up right um, that's for the path and then you want to make sure that um, you click it and you know adjust this so that it be like in the middle or at least get to the moon okay because you probably want to be um, the rocket to go to the moon and back okay 
so for the path now you can actually see where the rocket is gonna be you can either um, move the moon or move the rocket that's fine for you too okay um, and want to make sure that you start um, don't go with after previous you select with previous um, duration for I think that's gorgeous for four make sure that is no smooth start smooth end get that out and then after that you're gonna select that rocket again add animation go to emphasis and spin now you go to effect options half spin is what you want and then you want to go um, not after previous actually with previous delay four and then you want to make sure that it's the it's everything it's right no smooth uh, no smooth start no smooth end okay um the duration i think i'm gonna go with 1.5 okay i changed that a little bit sorry okay now you want to control d duplicate this rocket and then you want to just delete the last um animation out of that then you click on this rocket and um you're going to rotate this you want to rotate right 90 degrees and then click on that again go to rotate right 90 degrees again so you have like 180 degrees rotation in this case okay and then for this you want to go to effect options and reverse path of the effect option and then you want to just put the rocket to the moon oops sorry you don't want to put this rocket um, at the moon you just want to put the rocket where ever the first rocket is okay so it's supposed to be like an overlap kind of a rocket right and you just want to make sure that um, the arrows are probably almost at the same um, location so you kind of just want to move it a little bit you can use the mouse to drag around the, the shape or you can also use like the arrows on your keyboard as well which I find is much easier to move things around okay now you want to click on the first rocket and then um, add some animation into it which is the exit um, effect and that is going to be disappear and that's okay all right and then you move this animation to after the spinning okay start after previous okay start after previous and then after that you click on the second rocket you add animation you select appear and then it's going to start with previous and you want this to be underneath the uh, disappear okay All right, so you got this super cute animation for this Valentine's Day. Well, don't forget to leave down the comment how you feel about this video. And if you have any suggestions or any questions, leave those down in the comment section as well. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook too. Well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.